very tense situation playing out in Sunland when there's a race to evacuate horses from Gibson Ranch. KCAL 9's and CBS 2's Christine Lazar live with an update on the emergency evacuations. Christine? Lena and Juan, I have the best news, and that's to report that all of the horses got out safely and some chickens and some bulls. But I do want to show you the devastation that's been left behind by this fire. First over to the hillside here. We saw it live on the air, the fire just climbing down that mountain. Not only did it destroy the hillside, but there was a man who just put up uh, wine grapes, and, and he had a little farm going there, and he lost all of that, as well as his home. It's up at the hillside there. Now, while his home was burning, this is where he was. He was helping to to evacuate those horses and I want to show you because everybody wants to know how these horses are doing there's still a few left here in this parking lot but for the most part they've all been taken away in trailers to safety uh, still quite a few more I'm sorry I thought there were more gone but there's still quite a few there we want to show you now some video from earlier today we were here rolling right as the fire broke out firefighters were not yet here it was so quick we asked what we could do how we could help they said just grab some horses so my photographer Marvin Stone put down the camera I put down the microphone we ran in there we got horses out it wasn't just me it was lots of volunteers lots of people just driving by who were here to help one of those women we talked to earlier she lives in the area, saw that there was a need, and she came. I actually, I live in Shadow Hills here, and I was actually coming to see where the, if the fire was coming to Shadow Hills. And by mistake, I turned down the street and came here. And I've come to visit bulls. There's a big thing of bulls here. And I come and visit them, and um, I saw there was nobody here, Harley. Just people with, who had their trailers. And the rest of the horses were all tied up. At least people had tied them up to the fences. They didn't have anybody here to help. So I started screaming for people to come in, and you're one of them. You two were great. Nice. You should be proud of yourself for helping these horses. I mean, not everybody just put down what they had, and they, and they ran in there. I know. I, know. I was screaming to people walking, uh, driving by, come in here and help us. And this is the result of all those people helping out, all these horses alive. It was very tense. That fire, I can speak from experience because I was in there, it moved so fast. It completely uh, destroyed the stables there, all around those horses. There was a period of time where we didn't know if they could get out. We were going to just open up all the enclosures and the pins and just let them go. Uh, but thankfully, we were able to get them out, and they are safe. So some good news to report. Unfortunately, it looks like at least one home was lost, uh, and the barn here at Gibson Ranch also. A total loss. And you did a great job, Christine.